Hello, this is Rob from Rims Models. Uh, this is my final reveal of the Mini Art British Lorry B Type. So just before we start, I'd like to say a big thank you to all my subscribers uh, for all your comments as well, really encouraging. I've had some really nice comments as well. So I'm I'm going to show you now what I've done. I'll, I'll go through everything I've used to get to this final the final stage. So I'm going to start this up so you can see. Yeah, we'll let it go round and then I'll, I'll zoom in and I'll show you. I'll go through it bit by bit what I've done. Well, it's been a great build. There's been no problems at all with the fit. The fit's been excellent. Everything you see apart from the when it comes around I'll show you apart from these rocks in the back here yeah, everything else is straight out the box oh and um, sorry the the fishing line there as well I, I use fishing line just to detail the engine the rest of it is straight out the box um, brilliant you've got three marking options as well for this three different schemes to do so you got Let's stop this now. There, like that. And I'll bring it in. And then I can show you. Let's put my light on so you can. I think I might be a bit too close there. Right. So the first thing I've done, as I showed you in my last update, I did the brown there. This is Tamiya red brown xx64 and I sprayed the cab the bulkhead and the um, the bonnet there was all sprayed with that then I did the chipping the MIG ammo uh, chipping fluid and then I went over the top with the red now the red I used is that there flat red which is xf7 so all the reds, that's all XF7 on there. And then the back, all the woodwork, which is this, the bed of the truck, the floor, and the back of this, the back of the cab, and the front, was again sprayed with the red-brown, the XF64. And then I did some dry brushing of that Dectan XF55, just to give it a bit of like a bit of wood effect and again chipped it with the fluid and sprayed the red over the top so that's what effect I've got there and I've, I think it come out really well I'm really, I'm really pleased how that come out all the black all the black parts is just standard there XF1 which is flat black so I've done all that, all the black parts are done with that um, the engine the engine was done with that there XF16 which is flat aluminium so all that was done uh, there is a bit of gun metal in there I've actually run out but it, um, I think it was what colour what number was that now I think it's XF um, have I got some no, I haven't got none oh I think it was X10 gun metal so all the gunmetal parts were done in that. The radiators, gunmetal, um, and a few bits in the engine. I'll, I'll swing this round so you can see. There, the the headlights, all the brass parts. Was that X12, which is gold leaf. So all these brass parts were done with that, which is uh, the four lights, the wheels. Um, that's actually red, the same colour as that. And then the top, the actual, the rims, it's uh, the white bits is just that. To me, yeah, XF2. But um, I actually, I actually brush painted that. I went around with the brush. I just thought, I just did the red first, and then brush painted it after, because it's got quite a nice lip on that. So your brush, your brush went round that quite easy. So that's that. Let's swing it round. The decals, the decals were brilliant. They went on absolutely brilliant. Mini art decals, I can't fault them. They're 
there's never any silvering. This model hasn't been glossed, it hasn't been clear coated in any way. I've just put the decal straight on top of the paint. Because to me a paint is quite hard wearing anyway, so <coughs> excuse me. You see it all inside there, I'll, I'll do a close up for you in a minute. It's all black, that's black, all these bits are black, it's just black and red. The seats, the seats, I'll show you, like I said, I'll show you in a minute. I've actually done, I've actually used that there, which is red leather of a layer. There's your number there. So I've done that, I painted them the seats that colour, and then I just dry brushed some deck tan on the top, and then I did a wash over the top of that. There, like that. The exhaust is done with me, me normal Megama rust effects. Uh, so I've just um, I painted it the dark rust first, and then I just stippled, like with the sponge, just stippled it with the light. I kept going lighter and lighter in colour, and then when I finished, I just used the. Um, see if I can find it for you. The the rust wash by Vallejo. Here it is. I just went over the top with that, over the top of the exhaust with that. So that was all the painting. And then what I've done then, let's see if I can just bring it in for you and show you. There, I put the decals on first before I've done any anything else. Decals first, look, they went, like I said, they went down absolutely beautiful. And all I've done. Just to make sure I, I, I got a cocktail stick, and I just went along the board, like where the where the, the lines are there, just to make sure they're really sat, like really bedded in. And then when I've done that, when they're dried, I just sponge chipped the two the two wood colours I've done, and them two colours I just just sponge chipping over the top of them, making them look like they were worn, and I I think it come out well. Uh, the wheels, like I said, were painted red. Well, I didn't, I didn't use the um, chipping fluid on that. I just sponge chipped them. The actual discs, the drum brake things there, are black as well. They were easy enough to paint. I glued them on and painted them after. Now the weathering, the um, the actual pigments I've used, I've used a, a mixture here because I've got rocks on the back. I've used these here, these are MIG, MIG pigments. Uh, I've got concrete there. <clears throat> I've got rubble dust. And I've got drying wood there. These are, like I said, these are all the MIG pigments. And I've just done a mixture of the three there, around there. Uh, oh, before, I forgot. When I actually painted it, I made a filter up out of this. The old brusher earth, and I've done I've done three coats of that um, on there. The uh, filter I just filtered the lot, and then after that I've done um, my ping wash there, all all in the recesses here, and all all in there was a ping wash, and all it was was just your standard start this one here. There, which is Starship filth, and I made a I made a pin wash up for that, and I went all around doing that. Let's bring you around to the back. That's not that's loose, so you can display that up or down if you want. Well, I think but these are all brass. That's all the uh, gold leaf in there as well. The X12. There, the engine. I will just use that Starship filth, and I just made a wash. Like a really thick uh, pin wash up and done that. So I'm going to bring it lifted up now and I'll show you closer now. As you can see, look. Let me just zoom this out a bit because I won't be able to focus. Really detailed there. I don't know how well, how well you can see inside there. Well, that's, that's all. Um, the chipping fluid, uh, 
them them decals I can't fault them really really pleased with them these stones here that's what I had lying around it's from a, a project I've done a few years ago and I thought what can I display in the back and I, th I thought oh no I'll put them in the back there I'll turn it around look so you can see like I say that's all lo that's loose there that's all that's all wood effect there that's that's the chipping on the top there like that there with the wheels there but I did like I said I did all the decals first and then I, I had to do probably four or five coats of the um, micro the microsol micro set and microsol just to make sure I don't know how well you can see but you can see all the wood grain through them decals I hope you can see that they have laid down so well but as I said there's no clear coat on that at all I'll come round there's the front there, there's the two lights and then your spotlight your lights there look oops now this here the base all it is is that that was that um the stands you put you buy them and you can put your trophies on top so all I've done I've, I've got it is like and then I've just done a light stain on the top that's a bit of photo I had lying around and that was them decals are actually on the decal sheet and I've just put them on and these are just little stones I ordered off eBay and I've just stained them so basically that's it that's my final reveal well, if, you think, if you're thinking of buying this kit, I can highly recommend it. So, thanks for looking. Stay safe and happy modelling.